All right, hello friends. We are here at Grayton Beach State Park in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. And we're gonna show you around, show you what makes this state park one of the nicest in the Florida Panhandle. Why don't you come along with us? Okay, so you like it down here at Grayton Beach? Yeah, the water's really nice. The water's very, very nice. Um, it's October right now, uh, so there actually are still a little people here in the area, but for the most part, this is a good time to come down and visit this state park. Yeah. Um, it's, it is uh, like a lot of the other parks around the area, uh, beautiful sand white beaches, and um, I mean, just, just basically what the, the Gulf of Florida is supposed to look like, absolutely nice. State Park is located on 30A, about halfway between Destin, Florida, and Panama City Beach, Florida. And it's definitely one of the prime spots for people who want to come down here on vacation. Uh, 30A is very well known for lots of other seaside towns, including the town of Seaside, the, the town that uh, The Truman Show was filmed in, starring Jim Carrey. It's one of the popular places to visit around here with lots of restaurants and uh, places to shop. So if you want to get away from the campground, or we're coming here to, to visit the beach and you want to get away for some uh, other restaurants or shopping, you can head on down the road. I believe Seaside is only about a mile down the road from Great Beach. Here in the beach area of the state park, they do have uh, a little bit of facilities to, to make your beach vacation a little bit more comfortable. They've got some bathrooms, got some shower facilities, uh, a couple of picnic pavilions. The parking lot is actually not very large for this state park. So, I mean, if it is during the, the busy season, you're probably gonna wanna get here fairly early uh, so you can have a parking spot. There's even opportunities for people to do some snorkeling and scuba diving in this area. They've got an artificial reef right off the coast, about 750 feet out, straight out from the state park here, and helps attract some of the sea turtles to the area. As you can see on this little board, they've got all kinds of different reef fish that come around this area. Definitely a neat little amenity that they offer for this state park. All right, one of the one of the fun little extra amenities they have here at the park is uh, a couple of really nice hiking trails. Um, we're on one of them right now, the Dune Lake Trail, and it actually takes you up and around some of these coastal dunes that normally you can't walk on because um, this area is protected, but they've got a, a trail carved out. So we're gonna go check that out. So this is pretty cool back in here, huh, Em? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, we're on uh, actually one of the sand dunes, and they've just got—it's just got all these palmetto bushes growing in here, all these uh, sand pines growing in here. Yeah. Um, I mean, we only walked a hundred yards from the parking lot, and we're we're feeling like we're, we're just woods. yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of nice, um, you know, just kind of experiencing. I always try to imagine. This is what Florida used to look like before all the development started. And I'm really glad that they've got, uh, you know, still several state parks that show what this area has to offer. Oh, well, we're, we're standing here on the, the edge of Western Lake, one of the coastal dune lakes in this area. 
and um, it's a good place to to fish to kayak um, I brought my kayak out here before and uh, there's it has some freshwater inlet that comes into it but it also ends up out into the Gulf of Mexico so you can catch some some saltwater species like redfish speckled trout um, you can also catch largemouth bass if you get farther back in the lake uh, but just bringing the paddleboard out, bringing your kayak out, and getting out here on the water is a really fun thing to do. All right, well, they do have a uh, small boat launch here to get into Western Lake. Um, the only boats that are allowed in here are kayaks, canoes, paddleboards, and uh, any small boat with a small motor, like a trolling motor. Um, but they do, if you don't have your own kayak, they do uh, rent those. They do rent paddle boards. Uh, the prices are uh, reasonable. A kayak is $15 an hour. You can rent it for half the day for $45. Um, the paddle boards are $20 an hour. So uh, not too bad. You don't have to bring that with you if you're coming here camping. You can always rent here from the facility. All right, well, I guess it's time to go check out the campground, but before we do, we're gonna take a little side trip, head on down the road to Seaside and see what's going on down there. Okay, we've made it down to Seaside, Florida, right down the road from Great Beach State Park. You like this area, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty popular. There's a lot of people down here today visiting, um, but it's kind of nice to be able to get away from the state park if you wanna come down and go to some of the restaurants or even uh, just visit a different area, do some shopping. Um, this is a nice place to come. All right, well, one of the cool places to come here at Seaside is the Modica Market. If you're looking for some extra supplies while you're camping down at uh, Grayton Beach State Park, you can come on down here. They've got all kinds of food, all kinds of breakfast items. Um, you can get some uh, coffee, anything you want. Beach toys, too. Beach toys, too. There you go. <laughs> we're here in the campground this happens to be uh, site number six which is indicative of what a lot of the sites look like you can see there's water electrical outlets picnic table fire ring um, normal campsite stuff but what's really nice is it's very kind of tucked in here back in these pine trees and these palmetto bushes um, definitely a nice place to stay actually several of the campsites that we'll show you here in just a second are located right on Western Lake so if you have a kayak and you want to put it in the water you can do so directly behind your campsite all right we're here in uh, campsite number 18 this is one of those ones that I was mentioning that backs up onto the water if you go back here into the back of the site behind the picnic table and fire ring you can see a little trail that leads right down to the water now, Western Lake, believe it or not, does have alligators in it. Um, I have seen one only one time um, when I was out here kayaking, but uh, for the most part, they'll stay away from you if you leave them alone, and you probably don't have any worries about them coming up into your campsite. But if you do have pets and you're staying at one of these waterfront campsites, you may wanna just keep an eye on them. Okay, this is campsite 26. It's definitely right on the water as well. What do you what do you think of these spots, Em? This one's really nice. Yeah. It really is like right by the sand. Like you can just put your kayak around. Yeah. There. I mean, what would be cool is you can you can bring a tent down here and you can kind of set it up. And not a camping tent, just like a canopy, and you yeah. can kind of set it up down there on the water. And it's really shaded. It it's very shaded. Really nice. uh, that's that's probably the thing I like about all these campsites is they're very shaded. And also they have individual dump stations at each one of the campsites. So you don't have a, a, a central dump station you have to go to on your way out. They've got one right here uh, to empty your your tanks definitely definitely a nice campground we're gonna have to yeah. come down here and stay again yeah. okay well I guess that closes out our day here at uh, Grayton Beach State Park 
Um, it's a pretty nice place if you're coming here to the Florida Panhandle. Um, there's a lot of really nice state parks to choose from, but uh, give this one a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. What do you think, Em? Yeah, I definitely want to come here. Yeah, the campground is nice. Um, you have all the hiking uh, trails that are available. You have Western Lake where you can kayak or paddleboard. And of course, you have the beautiful waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Can't go wrong. All right. Well, thanks for coming along with us. Thank you.